So, um, I don't really know what to say. Monsieur Hastings, this theft may be a new and foreign concept to you. But to Detective Poirot, it is just another case waiting to be solved. What do we do, then? We must get to work. If we can ascertain the thief's point of entry and exit, this may all be resolved momentarily. I should investigate the exhibition, exhibition space and determine possible points of entry. Okay. Ah. A painting hook found near the space of, for the missing painting, suggesting its careless removal. It's been knocked uh -huh. over. Perhaps someone nudged this vase by accident. Hmm. There should be hooks here for holding up the painting. There's only one. That looks out into the night. Could someone have entered th through here? Huh. The screws that hold the grate covering the vent in place are incredibly rusted. careless of someone to have left this broken glass un unattended to. Oh. They may... This, this may come in, in handy. Huh. The door to the connecting room is locked, with no sign of criminal interference. Oh. The main door to, uh, to the exhibition room, I tried tied the ribbon around the door handle myself. Okay. We can make one connection here. Broken glass found on the floor. Uh, opera glasses. Come, my little grey sands. No? Face vent not opened. For some time, painting, hook on the wall, main door, not tampered with, painting, hook on the floor. Another success. I would have thought the thief would have been more careful when handling a precious work of art. The painting was clumsy removed. Magnifique. The thief clearly had no regard for the painting as they were removing it from the wall and the exhibition room. Okay. Oh, we can't make more connections. Painting stone without regard. Okay. Can we leave now? Ah. So 
also have opera glasses. Uh, can't inspect them. Hmm. Am I missing something again? Mm-hmm. Or should I... Can I use it? No. I can only interact. Interact, interact. Wait, what? Huh. Skylight, and we can use something here. Aha. Perhaps the opera glasses may be of some use. The window appears to open, but the cobwebs across the frame suggest it hasn't been for some time. I believe I have all the elements required to proceed. Gentlemen, I have called the police and they should arrive shortly. What can I do in the meantime? Do you still hold the master key? Of course. You are the only other person who has had access to it. Très bien. Please keep it close. I believe the thief may be one of the guests here today. Huh. Oh wait, are we not done yet? Okay. <laughs> so, Skylight closed. Evelyn still has the key. I have concluded that they must have been well prepared and entered through the restoration room using a key act to access the exhibition. The answer was staring me in the face. It appears the restoration room door is the key to our crime. Could Mademoiselle Warburg be involved? Monsieur Hastings, I pose this question to you. If Mademoiselle Warbeck still has the master key, is she not a suspect herself? Très bien. Why is Evelyn not a suspect? Not a suspect. Painting stone without regard. Mademoiselle Walbeck is likely not our thief. The real thief did not care about the museum and what is hung on its walls. At some time during this evening's festivities, the key was taken from her pocket and used in the restoration room door without her knowledge. If we find the pickpocket, we will uncover our painting thief. First, we must search the restoration room. Mesdames et Messieurs, your attention, please. I am Detective Hercule Poirot of the Belgian Police Force. I was charged with the safety of the penitent Magdalene painting on its voyage to London from Belgium. The missing painting has indeed cut the celebrations of the gala short, and so I consider my duty to be, as yet, incomplete. With your cooperation, I ask that you all remain within the building, and I intend to speak with you all individually. If I was the thief, I would certainly be worried after a speech like that. I just wonder if... Maybe I should let you do the questioning. Monsieur Hastings, the painting's safe return also falls upon your shoulders. I know, but I can make myself useful elsewhere, see what clues I can find. Where on earth is Monsieur Hastings? A disappearing assistant... Is the last thing I. The last thing one needs. What? He was just there. Did you have a blackout like we did? I must narrow down the suspects by uh, a cert a cert training possible windows of opportunities. Windows of opportunity would involve one or more of the guests leaving and returning to the main hall. I should keep this in mind. Given the complexity of the crime, I may need to use evidence for multiple de deductions. Now my little grey cells, let us get to work. 
Okay, we have a timeline. So, the painting is secured. The champagne and accident? Incident? Irene and John emerged from the west wing before the champagne incident. The heart attack. Yeah, like no one's bothered by that. Really? The painting is discovered missing. Horse and Mortimer and... Like, I just m more or less learned the last names. And now he's like writing the, f the, the first names. Who are these people? Horace and Mortimer. Who are they? Um. And what should I do? Start linking. Okay. So this is like events what happened and okay and I can like connect one to another we can make three connection connections here um are we... one step closer to revealing the truth uh Conversing on the balcony with Mademoiselle Farquhar. Pre heart attack incident opportunity for Mademoiselle. Okay. Horace, Horace, and Mortimer. Mortimer. Some would say a lucky guess. I Monsieur uh, Ellsworth unaccounted for pre collapse. Betty. What a revelation! Monsieur Christmas announced for an an unaccounted for after champagne incident. Okay, we did our connections. Now what? It's time to talk to people. We'll we'll go like full circle, like this way. Can we look at the paintings? No, okay. <coughs> Bonsoir, Your Excellency. I should be addressed as Your Grace. Pardon, I did not mean to offend Your Grace. It's just that in Belgium... Uh... It is quite all right. None of us can choose where we're born. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? Well, he's highly unpleasant. Would you talk me through your movements this evening? Uh, if I must. I was talking with Mr. Aylesworth for a time. Some strange opinions, that one. Would you care to elaborate? You were not present for that conversation, and I hardly think it appropriate to involve you now. Although, I will say he was rather keen to see the orrery from the balcony. He left, and I spoke briefly to that actress, but she wandered off looking for her husband. Uh, up the main stairs, I think it was. Where were you at the time of Monsieur Ellsworth, Ellsworth's heart attack? Who would have thought the reveal of the missing painting would cause a man to take such a turn? Perhaps a warning to us all that such a scare could come at any time. Are you trying to say that is what's going to happen to me? Your Grace has misinterpreted my meaning. But on the matter of where you were at the time... Then maybe you should think before you speak. And I was talking with a young Russian girl. Merci, Your Grace. Oh, what is this? We can't make any connections here. Can I go there now? Oh. 
something I can I should do first. I thought I could go to the west wing. Huh. Okay. Bonsoir, Mademoiselle Babania. Please, detective. Surely we are past those formalities. What you may consider a formality, I consider etiquette. Please tell me what you remember of this evening's events. Well, I had the pleasure of meeting the other guests. I feel so fortunate just to be invited myself. Modesty is the color of virtue. Now, mademoiselle, you were saying... Oh, yes. We all gathered for that delightful photograph. Then I spent some time looking at all the wonderful art. I did notice the actress and the politician returned to the main hall together. And the other guests? I saw Bishop Mountjoy and the politician, oh forgive me, I forget his name, leave towards the east wing together. You spoke with the bishop at the time Monsieur Ellsworth's heart attack. It was much earlier in the night. Well, before that. You have been as enchanting as always. Mademoiselle, if you have a moment, I wish to ask you some questions. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Look around you, detective. Out of the ordinary is the ordinary here. Regarding the guests of the gala, you had the opportunity to speak with them all? I met that delightful Farquhar girl, the art critic. With any luck, her article will finally give me the respect I deserve. Your talk on the balcony went well, I presume. Well, indeed. We weren't up there for long before the poor politician was struck down. What luck for there to be a doctor at the scene. And for us to have a detective here, too. We have some time that is... Before I wasted a perfectly good glass of champagne on that man, you mean? That is certainly one way to tell the story. I'd hardly call him trying to push himself upon me as a story. With his wife in the same room? You think a man with that much arrogance cares? Women are nothing more than objects to him. One day he'll learn his lesson. Merci, mademoiselle. That is all for now. Bonsoir, mademoiselle. It seems trouble follows you, detective. So it would appear. And the faster I am able to ask my questions, the faster this trouble will be resolved. Please uh, recount what you remember of this evening before the theft. I saw Betty leave the main hall and head for the West Wing after the whole champagne debacle. What do you think that was all about? It is not my job to speculate on such private matters. It is to uncover the location of the missing painting and who is responsible. If there is someone who can, it's you, detective. Merci, mademoiselle. That is all for now. Bonsoir, Monsieur Christiansen. Detective, what a mess you have on your hands. That is certainly one way to describe it. Perhaps you can begin to help me to clear up this mess. Please account what you remember of the scene before the theft. I was with Betty most of the evening. She wasn't feeling herself. I'm glad I didn't leave and miss out on all of this. Don't tell me you don't get a little thrill when a new case appears. I do not think about such thrills, Monsieur Christensen. Only justice. All business, no pleasure, I see. I remember seeing the priest. The bishop? Yes, uh, him. He came down the stairs just before Mr. Aylesworth recovered. Maybe a man of the church was all he needed. Tell me about the incident with the champagne. Oh, you saw that. I believe every soul in the museum did, or at least heard the commotion. So I look like the bad guy, hmm? That's what you get for standing up to a bully, I suppose. A bully? She made some pretty awful comments about Betty and her career. And I wasn't just going to stand by and let her say whatever she wanted. 
You should lock her up for what she did to me. She's unhinged. You choose to stay when your wife left? Are you married, Detective Poirot? I am not. Then heed my warning. If your wife, whenever she comes along, wants to be left alone, you leave her alone. Merci, Monsieur. Madame Warbeck, a moment of your time, if you will. I was rather busy, as you saw, especially with Irene and her disappearing act. Disappearing act? An artist and a magician. She is a woman of many talents. She was nowhere to be found. Is that better? She was supposed to help me organize everything. Then I saw her throwing her glass of champagne at Mrs. Allen's husband. I was hoping to speak with her after, but I didn't see her again until she was calling down from the balcony following Mr. Aylesworth's collapse. Mr. Christensen, Betty Allen's husband. After the theft, on my way to telephone the police, he was looking for something in the West Wing. Merci, mademoiselle. That is all for now. I thought I would make myself useful, and uh, I think I found some things of note. Bon. I shall go and retrieve them now. You are wise to not touch them and contaminate any evidence. Oh, uh... I didn't think about that. I did only move them to the West Wing. Fantastic. What can I do for you? Merci. Finally, we can go. Strangely, but we can. A shoe? Okay, one of today's guests and obviously had a secret vice. What? Hmm. A strange symbol adorns the lid of the snuff box. It looks like a shoe. Ah. A snuff box shaped like a woman's left shoe. That's pretty strange, is it not? Hmm. A small heart shaped lock. Mm -hmm. I would presume that Mademoiselle Farquois is the owner, but things are not always as straightforward as they appear. Uh. The, the back cover of the book is adorned with a elaborate emblem. This is is this simply decorative? Look, my mademoiselle must keep the key close. We can go upstairs. Uh -huh. Like, see, that's what I mean. Like. An adventure game you shouldn't be like tied up to a location you can freely explore you you can find clues sooner or later and then make conclusions sooner or later so that's pretty linear I don't really like that concept hmm the door to the restoration room Oh, there's really nothing to find, is there? It's 
So, with her we need to talk? If it will help retrieve the painting. No. Merci, mademoiselle. Okay. Apparently not. Okay. Then we gotta talk with you. I have nothing to hide. Merci, mademoiselle. Okay, maybe I need to make a connection first. And then... Four? Voila. Bishop uh, unaccounted for around Aylesworth collapse. Okay, uh, Irene. Hot on the culprit's heels. When was that? Uh, um, before champagne and incident. The pieces of the puzzle are fine. Before the champagne accident. Betty. Things are beginning to become clearer. Uh, I'm now aware of the movements of everyone still present in the museum, but those that left the gala early, I'm still to speak with. <clears throat> okay, so this timeline was kind of like underwhelming. Like, it looked horrific. Uh, that I need to like read in every movement and make a connection what what who what say what about whom but it was pretty easy you just like I basically just pick the name and then connected it to the other name on the other side so that's how it worked that's why it also looks like this you know so it was kind of like easy but okay Okay, we can't make connections here. No. No. I have nothing to. Merci, madame. So, what am I doing? Inspect, inspect museum west wing. That's, that's what I did. More questions. Merci. Help retrieve the pain. Will you allow me access to the restoration? Room? Of course. I have the key. Mademoiselle, the key? I'm sorry. You said it yourself. I think I should just hold on to it. I was not expecting Mademoiselle Warbeck's hesitation. Mademoiselle Warbeck, I really must insist on access to the restoration room. I find your reluctance to oblige a little uh, troubling, Mademoiselle. Now listen. I am the curator of this museum, and I... Miss Warbeck, will you let the man in? I, for one, would like to get to the bottom of this tonight. Please, Evelyn. Let's not drag this on all night. Evelyn Warbeck? That's me. Detective Inspector Harbwick. I was told a painting's been half-inched. Yes, it's... Stolen. Detective Hercule Poirot of the Belgian police, seconded by the Musée Royaux des Beaux-Arts de Belgique and Lloyds of London, to escort the penitent Magdalene here. How do you do, Detective Inspector Hardwick? Well, thank you for that introduction, Mr. Poirot, but we won't be needing your help this evening. But you see, not only do I have a considerable personal stake in this matter, I also possess undoubtedly the finest investigatory mind in all of Belgium. I'm sure Belgium thinks you're the bee's knees, but we'll be just fine and dandy. I must insist, Inspector. Bloody hell. I don't have time for this. Will someone try and get through to this man before he does my head in? Dear Mr. Poirot, I know you meant well, but perhaps now is not the time to push the Inspector's buttons. Très bien. 